Hi, I'm Saiba. This is a designs, and today I'm going to talk about what to expect now that we've lived with uh, the COVID situation for a while, and we're slowly getting our lives back. We're slowly get trying to get back to what is normal now. So I'm going to talk about defining workspaces again. I'm going to talk about design and how the implementation of that is going to be redefined. So I think the first thing that uh, we're all trying to figure out is um, work from home and work from home as we've known it in, in the past couple of months. Uh, I think we've all done a fairly decent job, at least uh, in, in my company, we have uh, everybody I'm speaking to has, everybody's kind of realized that Work from home is working very well in more ways than one, uh, keeping the, the contactless work situation um, separate. It's working well in, in, a, in a lot of ways. A, to begin with, um, I think everyone's realized that we were hustling. We were just hustling unnecessarily. And, and, and I know at least that happened with me when, when um, I took about six to eight flights on an average every month, last two years. And, and I realized when this lockdown happened, uh, my first crisis was I felt that just because I wasn't hustling, I felt like I wasn't being productive just because I wasn't bone crushingly tired at the end of every day. I, I, I thought that damn everything's sinking. But that's not the case. I mean, I realized that a lot of the hustle was extremely unnecessary, just getting up and getting out for meetings, getting up and going to different cities and different countries for meetings uh, was totally not required. I mean, I know I went outside India uh, last year at one, one trip for a meeting which was supposed to be for five hours. And it took three to four days of my time jet lag. And over and above that, I realized that Apart from the toll that it was taking on us, look at the amount of carbon footprints we were all leaving uh, while we were doing this. So before the lockdown, in fact, I was looking for a much bigger office space. Post the lockdown, I have realized that I just want to look for a much slightly bigger house. Um, I want to have a study. I want to have a big meeting room. Uh, where people can come in, clients can come in if and when they want. People from the studio can come in if and when they want. But essentially, I'm just, I mean, we're just going to get a big screen where we can all clock in every day and work over there. Why, why would I put my staff through the harrowing experience of taking public transport every day, uh, battling traffic, getting to office, already in a bad frame of mind? Why can we not just work comfortably? So I think we've all realized that cutting out the hustle is um, actually leaving us in, in, in a better mind space. It leaves us with more bandwidth to be more productive and do more things and leaves us less harrowed. So yeah, there's certain challenges which are gonna come with it, which are um, accountability, deliverables, etc. But I think if we can use this time to sort of redefine the SOPs, uh, refine processes, redefine communication protocol, it is very easy to achieve. I mean, I know for a fact that we've achieved it already in uh, our office. So yeah, we, we are definitely, at least in my company, we are definitely going to try out the work from home situation. For a while now, I, I mean, I don't think office is going to be office as we knew it. So, you know, for example, uh, in the last two months, uh, fortunately, we signed up for two projects. That they were completely from scratch. They weren't in discussion uh, pre -COVID, in the pre-COVID time. So it is actually so cool how, uh, and this is for a pretty major um, MNC, a big MNC, and Usually what would happen is if we were pitching for a project for a company like that, it would just take up the entire office's time, effort, energy, everything. But it's so cool. Everybody starting from the vice president of the company uh, to everybody through the hierarchy, people in my office, we've managed client briefs, we've managed presentations, we've managed to close the project actually all on 
screen time and the other day I was speaking with the gentleman, the vice president of the company and he was saying, how's it going? I said, I was just thinking that I'm making this presentation to you and ordinarily uh, back in the day, it would have taken up two days of studio time and a lot of like I'm saying unnecessary hustle. But right now, uh, my team's just done it effortlessly from their houses. I mean, my team and I, we share screen space and I can sketch on my iPad. It's literally like sitting across the table from each other over a piece of paper. And I said, my team's done this from the comfort of their own homes. And this meeting, which, have, which would have otherwise taken an entire day and every from a whole bunch of people coming from my team to your office or from your office to my office, it's just a 45 minute affair in which we've done small talk, made small talk. Uh, we've all had coffee independently and get together and we've made the presentation and, and it's gone really well. You're absolute right. And this is a VP of a pretty major MNC. I, I cannot speak about them now. He says, I'm not going back to office and I don't want all my people to go back to office either. So I think everybody is, is realizing how well this is working, how well work from home is working uh, for a lot of people. It, it, I, I know some people uh, who have kids and, you know, um, they are actually facing a major problem and uh, I don't have kids, so I don't know how that's going to iron out. But uh, this is definitely something that needs to be explored a little more. Uh, hustle less, work more, and, you know, you have more downtime for yourself.